Okay, so I'm going to show you my automated storage system that I've been working on here. It utilizes Craftbook a lot, so without that it won't work. Now here you call for a cart. You fill it with stuff in whatever order you want, it doesn't matter. Just fill it with anything. Um, you can't send too many carts at once, however. At most you can send the one every minute. And then you send it away. And you can also call for another one to fill up the one you sent. Like this. And let's just check. I think it should arrive, but I want to be sure. And it should be here in a minute. There we go. Okay. Now, I gotta go to the storage area, but I don't really want to show how to get there because this is a PvP server and we don't want people to know. So I'm going to make a pause here and then I'll see you again when I'm there. There we go, I'm back. This is the storage area. There's another level below, I'll show you later. These are storage chests which can only contain one item. I mean one type of item. Because they're, st they're too close together, but I, these are so useful, so I decided these should have one chest each. But things like uh, stairs, like these, I wanted them to be grouped together. So I made a system for putting lots of items in one chest, automatically. Let's go through. See? Glass block and panes. I don't want them to have different chests, because I use them for the same things. And on the bottom floor is also this, but it's plants and stuff. But this is what I want to show you here. This is a return system. It sends chests and minecarts back to the storage area we visited first. Let's put something in there. And just send it away. There we go. You can't ride this. It will kill you if you try. So I wouldn't do it. Uh, this is eventually where minecarts end up, so it's still a circle. You will all there won't be any minecarts that are lost anywhere. Behind here is redstone wiring, but let's begin at the beginning. I'll show you how it runs, and also explain the parts. This is the simple storage thing in uh, Craftbook. It just collects one item from the chest from the um, storage chest into these normal chests. It can't really be that more complicated. It just a very it, it only goes in one direction. As you might see, this is using a bit of a glitch in Minecraft that they can't go that way, but they work perfectly fine driving this way. And this is the way I use to put them into one chest with different items. Each chest is an item that I want in the same chest. These are redstone components, I think. You know, torches, um, pistons, la lanterns, stuff like that. It comes here and drops it like normal. It's just uh, a normal collector right here. But when it reaches the end, as over here, it will activate this uh, dispenser. Since it's a minecart, this just collects everything. Everything and ends up back here. In a chest down there. That chest collects anything. Any kind of block. But since the chest here only contains the blocks I want in there, that storage minecart won't contain anything else and I can just dump everything. And then it goes back up and stores itself back in the beginning. So I only need one chest. I don't have to restock these. I wanted this thing to be completely automatic. I didn't want to go in here ever again to do maintenance or something. That leads back to the start. The storage storage uh, center, whatever you call it. I think I blocked it off a bit. No, I didn't. Hmm. You can actually walk the entire area. See? But let's hurry back. I'm flying there. It's a bit faster. And let's start this. I can put something in there, by the way. Put some bread and a rock. And there it goes. I'm gonna try and keep track of that chest here, this minecart chest. But 
it has happened that I lose track of it. It's moving a bit fast. And this is the redstone components. Dropping it off. And I'm gonna hurry up down there because that thing is going to arrive there before I do. So There it is. Let's hurry over there. These ones contain food, by the way. Those ones. And this section was added very late, so it looks pretty tacked on. Because it was. But it works perfectly anyway. Because this system is it's very easy to add more areas and more items. So if I ever need more items, like in a future update, it's very easy to modify this. And there we go. Let's see if I got some bread. Rotten meat, uncooked, cooked food. Oh yeah, this is a triple storage. I wanted a lot of space for food. And of course I had food before, so whatever, I'll take this. So yes, this is the automated storage system. It really needs absolutely no maintenance, unless you count updating it for future updates, you know, more items and stuff. I really wanted this to be a system where I could just assign this to players who I don't want touching our private stash, but I still wanted them to have a lot of stuff for themselves. So yeah. I'm probably gonna be the one who maintains this anyway. <laughs> I'm the only one who gets this thing. So, there we go. let's try send something. A book. Let's try send a book requesting something. Uh, need more meat. This isn't really how I want the request to look, but whatever, it's just for testing. Let's put it here a piece of bread just to piss me off requesting meat and giving bread oh yeah I can't I can't walk back there you're gonna see the door no wait I can just do F home there we go let's go back down see how a request is received here's the incoming see the book and quill let's open need more meat and I send back request denied nah really I won't because uh, it doesn't sort message books and normal books differently it just puts all book supplies in one area there we go this one should send two more because this one really needs to be more full there we go, this is the fully automated storage and sorting system. Made specifically with Craftbook in mind. This is completely impossible with uh, vanilla Minecraft. So yeah, if you got any comments, questions, whatever, just put it in the comments and uh, I'll try and answer as best as I can. Uh, bye. Okay, one more thing quickly before I finish this. This thing behind, I want to show this. This is where it ends up, and this deletes all the content of the chest if it wasn't sorted. This thing contains a lot of minecarts. If you click the button outside, it sends one over there, and the other button here sends it away from the station. This, however, is how the refill works. It's a uh, receiver, wireless, uh, self-updating. Activates this thing here, which sort of uh, toggles this one to the other side signal over here sends both underneath and to this thing which immediately sends one minecart directly there bypassing the station um, and thus I can just click a button on the other side and start filling up in case I run out of minecarts I just needed to show that before because I forgot to add that when I was here last time so now that's a bit